Hey everybody, it's Joe from GreenLightSound.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new effects bundle from UVI and a really detailed look at one of the new tools in it, which is the Opal Compressor. You can see it on the screen right up here, based, of course, on the famous optical compressor, think LA-2A. Uh, we'll take a detailed look at that, a little bit less of a detailed look at the rest of the tools, but we'll go over all of them and see what's going on in this new bundle, which is a really great value. If I jump over to the UVI site here, you can see through the end of July 2023, the bundle's on sale for $199, regular price of $299, and you can see all the different tools we have down here that we will go over today included in that bundle. Before we dive into Opal and all the details about this new compressor, I do want to go over two of the other plugins included in the bundle because I already have detailed videos about those, so I'm not going to go over them today. I'll leave a link down in the description if you want to check out some really detailed overview of both Shade, which is a really unique EQ plugin, and the UVI Drum Replacer, which is awesome for augmenting or replacing drums right down here. So check those links out in the description if you want to see detailed videos about those two tools. So let me center up Opal right here. So one of the unique things about this model of an LA-2A is there's seven different units being modeled here, and they're accessed through this drop-down menu. The nice thing about them is it's not just the name of the unit, but also showing you the compression curve and the attack and release curves and the differences between them. So you've got your typical LA-2A controls here. Your peak reduction controls the amount of compression. You've got a makeup gain over here. Most plugins for an LA-2A include a mix knob, though that's not on the original hardware, of course. This mid-presence knob is the same as the emphasis control from the hardware, where you can have the circuit be more sensitive to certain frequencies rather than others. But some of the new things that are included in this plugin that aren't in the hardware or some other software models are, first of all, this responsiveness knob right down here, which multiplies the attack and release times together. So the compressor is still program dependent, but you can tailor it to your source material for faster or slower attack and release. We've got this treble switch right over here. So the original hardware units have a slight treble boost in them. And if you turn this treble off, that corrects the treble boost found in those original compressors. We'll leave it on for now. The tube simulation can be turned on or off. And if it's off, you can save some CPU that way. The drive adjusts the gain applied to the signal fed into the makeup gain when the tube simulation is active. So we can kind of drive those tubes a little bit independent of the compression or gain reduction that's happening. And right down here, you'll see when we actually put some audio through it, we've got a gain reduction graph, which is really helpful for indicating what's going on with both our attack and release and the gain reduction beyond what you just see on the VU meter up here, which tends to be kind of slow reacting. All right, so let's dive right into it. I'm going to bypass the compressor, play a vocal part. This vocal only has a little tiny bit of EQ and a de on it, nothing else, no compression. Here's what it sounds like raw. I'm holding my breath. You can take it, but you don't need it. And I'll engage the compressor and use the typical LA-2A controls to dial in some gain reduction. I'm holding my breath. You can take it, but you don't need it. I'm pressing my luck. You can have it, but I don't need it. So here it is without. I'm holding my breath. And with. I'm holding my breath. Levels it out nicely, just like you would expect uh, an optical compressor to do. Now watch what happens down here in the gain reduction graph and listen to what happens with the audio when I move this responsiveness knob. I'm holding my breath. You can take it, but you don't need it. I'm pressing my luck. You can have it, but I don't need it. So one of the drawbacks of LA-2A or optical style compressors is that they kind of are stuck on one attack and release value. It does change depending on the input, but you really can't have any control over it. This is really great to have this responsiveness knob and allow yourself to go really slow with the attack and release or really faster than a typical hardware unit would be able to do with it. I'm going to turn this treble boost on and off as it plays so you can hear what that does. I'm holding my breath. You can take it, but you don't need it. I'll turn the tube simulation off. I'm holding my breath. You can take it, but you don't need it. It's really nice, the tube simulation. Now I'll push the drive up. I'm holding my breath. 
You can take it, but you don't need it. So you can go subtle with this or really drive it hard, which is really nice. I'm holding my breath. You can take it, but you don't need it. Or make it really, really clean if you want to. Of course, we can really push the peak reduction. I'm going to go fast with the responsiveness. I'm holding my breath. You can take it, but you don't need it. And I'm going to pull this mix knob down a little bit. Go for some parallel compression. I'm holding my breath. You can take it, but you don't need it. So we can go really heavy with the gain reduction and not get a lot of artifacts, which is incredible for really leveling out an audio source. Let me go to one of the presets here for vocals. I'll go to Optical Silk. I'm holding my breath. And I'm going to move between the different models here. This is on London Velvet, NYC Custom. I'm holding my breath. 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 So they all have a slightly different character to them. I mean, really subtle. They sound like optical compressors, but that slight different character can really help you dial it into the source that you want. So there's Opal, new plugin from UVI, which was included in this effects bundle. The next plugin you get in the effects bundle is Plate, which is, of course, based upon a classic mechanical or electromechanical plate reverb. All I really want to do with Plate, because I'm sure most of you are familiar with plate reverbs, is go through some of the presets to see what you can do. Now, you can see there's a ton of controls here that would not be on a typical plate reverb. So you can really dial it in for the sound that you want. Let's just hear what some of the presets sound like. I'm holding my breath. You can take it, but you don't need it. I'm holding my breath. I'm holding my breath. I'm holding my breath. You can really hear how when you change the material of the plate, you get a totally different response to, which is really cool. So great plate reverb plugin. The next plugin in the effects bundle is also a reverb. This is an algorithmic reverb that covers a lot more bases than your standard plate. And again, we'll just kind of go through the presets here and see what we've got. I want to start with some of the shimmer sounds. I'm holding my breath. I'm holding my breath. Some of the larger sounds. I'm holding my breath. 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 So a lot of different types of reverb, different sounds, brightness and darkness that you can get with this algorithmic plugin. And it's also got really nice crossover controls for high and low decay and lots of other stuff you can do here. Let's go to one more room here. How about we go to the room for vocal room? I'm holding my breath. Yes, yeah, a really versatile algorithmic reverb, spark verb. Moving on to dual delay X, a really unique delay here with a ton of controls, which we're not going to dive into. And you can check out some other videos that kind of go over all the controls here. Again, I just want to hear the sounds for this delay plugin. Let's go on to some classic delay sounds. I'm holding my breath. Mono delay there. I'm holding my breath. You, you, you. Go to a ping pong delay. I'm holding my breath. I'm holding my breath. I'm holding my breath. I'm holding my breath. So you can go from slap delays to really long creative delays. Really cool. Dual delay X. 
Now we've got another type of delay here, a multi-tap delay. And again, we're not gonna go over all the controls, just listen to a few presets. I'm holding my breath. I'm holding my breath. Nice echoplex sound there. I'm holding my breath. You can hear how all those taps kind of hop all over the place. Really cool. Let's move to another plug in here, Rotary, and of course a Rotary speaker emulation here. I'm holding my breath. You can take it, but you don't need it. All different models with speakers emulated. I'm holding my breath. You can take it, but you don't need it. I'm holding my breath. I'm holding my breath. I'm holding my breath. So some really cool sounds and lots of control over that rotary speaker emulation. Next, we've got Phasor, which is of course a phaser plugin. Here's the default sound. I'm holding my breath. And we'll go through some presets here. I'm holding my breath. 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 It's a really cool creative modulation sounds. And speaking of modulation, the last one we'll look at here is Thoris. Of course, a chorus modulation plug-in. Here's the default sound here. I'm holding my breath. And we'll go through some vocal presets again. I'm holding my breath. I'm holding my breath. I'm holding my breath. I'm, I'm holding my breath. I'm holding my breath. I'm holding my breath. It's a really nice chorusy sounds in Thoris. So again, in this effects bundle, you've got Dual Delay X, Relayer, Rotary, Thoris, Phaser, Drum Replacer, Spark Verb, Opal, Shade, and Plate, EQ, Compression, Effects, all in this effects bundle. So really good value from UVI and some really, really great sounding plugins included in this package. So there it is, the effects bundle from UVI. If you've got any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already, so we can keep you in the loop as to what's coming up next, and I'll see you in the next one.